Hi friends and thanks for taking a few minutes to check in with this video. Uh, good to have an opportunity to reconnect with you even in this way and it was good to be with so many of you this last Lord's Day as we gathered and as we continue to gather in the great hope of the salvation that God has given and called us to in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray that you're being strengthened. I pray that you're being encouraged in that hope. I know that all of us have been aware of and uh, troubled by the situation that continues to unfold in Ukraine uh, with the attack, with the invasion of Russian forces. And of course, there's so many different uh, political realities going on, military realities going on, and all the implications of it. But more than anything, as God's people, our concern is the spiritual realities with uh, knowing God and making him known. And as we watch these events unfold and as we uh, pray, may God indeed steady our hearts and help us to continue to trust him and to be praying for brothers and sisters in Christ, certainly in Ukraine, certainly in Russia, and of course in other parts of the world. Uh, but even here in the States, to be reminded that our calling always is to be faithful uh, to the gospel, faithful to trust and to walk with God and to be about the work that he has called us to here on this earth. Um, as events started to unfold last week with the invasion, and we've sent out a few prayer requests, prayer updates from different folks, uh, one of those that we sent out at the end of last week was from the Masters Academy International, the ministry that is uh, certainly connected, obviously, with the Master's Seminary and is uh, being used of God all over the world in the development of biblical training centers that are helping to train pastors and church leaders. And in the country of Ukraine, there is a training center that has been there for many, many, many years. It was one of the earliest uh, training centers that was established. And as a result of that, they have extensive ministry, and they've had close to a 1,000 graduates from the training center there over the last 20 years or so that the training center has been in existence. And there are still a lot of American uh, missionaries connected with that training center who are in Ukraine and who are choosing to stay there during um, all that's unfolding because they're convinced that they're there to be salt and light and to be ministering the gospel even in the difficult situation that they're in. And in what we sent last week in one of the prayer updates, I just want to read you a quote from one of those missionaries who's in Ukraine and their uh, conviction, their confidence, even their courage as they were anticipating what was unfolding. And they said this regarding the invasion. They said, quote, we have made some contingency plans because it seems like the wise thing to do, like buying some non-perishable food, water, a propane stove and packing bomb shelter backpacks that are ready to go. And then he goes on to say this, but as Christians, we are not here to survive. We are here to love the Lord with all our hearts and to joyously give everything we've got toward the fame of the Almighty. And that conviction of heart and that conviction of disposition that says, listen, we're not ultimately here to survive but we're here to love the Lord with all of our hearts, and we're here to joyously give everything that we've got toward the fame of the Almighty. And of course, this is where the rubber meets the road for believers in this world. We're not here to survive, but we're here to be faithful to the Lord, here to be faithful to what he's called us to. And when I read that last week, it made me think of the similar disposition of the Apostle Paul in Acts chapter 20, in verse 24, when he says this, I do not account my life of any value, nor as precious to myself, if only I may finish my course and the ministry that I receive from the Lord Jesus to testify to the gospel of the grace of God. And that was the heart and disposition of Paul, which ultimately, of course, is, is imitating that heart and attitude of the Lord Jesus himself on this earth, when the cross was ever in, ever on the horizon for him, he knew that's what his destiny was, and he embraced it in the will of God, and ultimately looking to the joy that was beyond the cross. And beloved, the same is true for you and I. And even as these events are unsettling and, and can provoke our fears, uh, we need to ever be still before the Lord and cast our cares upon him. 
and to be confident that he is with us and in the particular and specific ways that God has given to us here and now today uh, to be faithful to minister to others in the workplace, in our homes, in our neighborhoods, in the classroom, wherever it may be, uh, that we would not count our lives as dear to ourselves, but that we would strive to be faithful even as we pray for our brothers and sisters in other places who are undergoing very intense and difficult trials. Uh, certainly one element of things that is unfolding is to be reminded, as, as I know you know, that within uh, the greater Sacramento area, there is a large Russian and a large Ukrainian population. And with men and women uh, who are from that, those countries that we need to be looking for and responsive to opportunities to minister to them as well. Uh, brothers and sisters in Christ as well as unbelievers because these events, of course, impact them. And so be alert to those opportunities in ways uh, that God might choose to use you to minister to others. Well, uh, within all of these matters, just want to remind you that, of course, we're planning to gather again this coming Lord's Day. As it's the first Sunday of the month, we'll be sharing in the Lord's Supper during uh, the morning worship service. And then also as it's the first Sunday of the month, we'll be having a sack lunch Sunday. And really encourage you to take advantage of the opportunity, um, just a very informal time to enjoy food with one, together, or with one another. Uh, we'll have tables set up inside and probably some outside as well. And uh, just encourage you to take advantage of that opportunity. And then we'll be having our evening service again at 5 p.m. So friends, uh, may the Lord bless you in Christ and may you be strengthened in the knowledge of him and continue to uh, be careful to walk in the amazing grace of God that he has given to us. So richest blessings to you and Lord willing, we'll see you this coming Lord's Day. Take care and bye-bye.